The sales central area is where you will find your sales reporting. Here you'll be able to enter in school sales, set financial goals, and even add students manually to your sales list. When you enter sales central, your numbers are available at a glance, including up to date numbers for the number of books sold. This number includes all books that have been sold through your online school store and sales entries that you've made. First, under the revenue area, we can set and review our sales goals. For instance, to set my yearbook goals, click Set. I'm just going to say last year I sold 200 books. This year I want to sell 300. Then I can track my sales to this goal throughout the year. So let's go in and enter some sales from a recent event we had at the school. I'll click the Enter Sales to Students button. You can select one or multiple students from the list just by clicking on their names. Then you can choose Enter Sales to Selected Students. And since we've selected multiple students, we're going to enter a real quick sales description. Even though all my purchasers bought a yearbook, they may have bought different options. So I'm going to want to edit sales details for each of these students. Then I can go through my list and mark the options purchased by each student. If you have any students that have purchased a name stamp or iTag, when you click Next, you will have the option to personalize those entries. If you don't yet have that personalization information, you can skip this and come back to it later. However, we're going to go ahead and personalize one of these. Select my layout, select the icon, and although the student's name will be in the text field by default, I can go in and change it to whatever the student wanted. Now on this one, we're going to say that we don't have the personalized information. So for now, we're just going to say we're finished. Notice that even though we've entered that group of sales, since at least one of our name stamp or iTag entries was incomplete, we'll still have the ability to go in in the future and edit that information as necessary. We can also edit any name stamp or iTag information directly from the name stamps or iTags area by simply clicking the Manage link. In addition, we can use the Sales Summary link to see detail about all of the yearbooks, packages, and options purchased so far. We can also see sales details for each of the purchases in the Sales Details screen. Again, we can sort the entries using the text or drop-down fields at the top of the screen. We can also edit information by selecting a student, clicking the Edit button, and editing that student's individual sales information. Now let's say all of our sales are done for the year and we want to create a list of all those individuals that are getting books including what options each of those individuals should receive. Sales Central makes this easy to do. In the same Sales Details screen, I'll click Print and I have the option to print a list as seen on screen or as a distribution list. Once the list opens up, I can go to File and Print. This list is of course formatted to automatically fit on letter size paper and notice that there's names for each of the individual students to sign or initial when they pick their book up. There's also a list of what options those individuals should see with their book and if they fully paid for their purchase. And here's one more advantage. If you enter sales in Sales Central then any options ordered will come packaged with the students books for easier distribution. Wallsworth Sales and Marketing Central, with tools to help you sell and track progress to save you time and money and make your life a little easier. For more information, contact your local Wallsworth sales representative or visit us at wallsworthyearbooks.com.